Okay, so what I'm gonna be using today, I'm working out of my kit. I actually did just paint her sister right now. If I was going to a Halloween gig, I specifically have Halloween stencils that I can pull from. I also airbrush, but this is a one stroke. So I would like to use some hybrids, some dips, and some solids. The way that I'm storing my solids these days is like this, ready to go. So if I have to grab out a color quickly, I can just grab it right out of my wagon. And I'm using my mixing mat. I also have a few different glitters that will go over um, alcohol-based makeup. And I have balm-based glitter that will go around it. So liking to educate that. Okay, so now once I have that purple where I want it, the next color that I would like to blend would be a little bit of orange. So I'm going to grab my orange hybrid, shake it, make sure that you always burp it. Okay, now I'm gonna take the back side of that same sponge and I'm gonna squeeze it on that same mixing palette that I'm always using. Dab, 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 and I'm gonna get a little bit of this orange on, so close your eyes. Now again, remember, I'm working here with some hybrids, so this is okay to go over the eyes. Totally fine. And I'm gonna blend that up. And I'm gonna lightly press, go up into her hairline here, kind of pulling down, get a little bit underneath here in this U area. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, now if that's not concentrated enough for me, close your eyes here, close. I can always add more product. So if I want it a little bit darker, I dab, dab, dab again. Close your eyes here. I like how that looks, how it's blended. And I'm gonna dab, dab, dab. Just like that, okay? So I got it right where I want it. This is actually a stencil from Pro Air, and I wanna kinda of match that up there. I also have this one that I'm gonna have coming down her cheek because she has this cute spider here. I'd like to add one right there later. So now is the, ch the time that I would need a really large sponge, and um, I'm gonna use a black dips. Can I get you to hold this for me? Yes. Okay, make sure that I burped it. I have a nice loaded pile of black and I'm gonna use a finger dauber. Now, when you're on the job, because you're using a makeup that has no water in it, it does dry out because of us using the alcohol, but you also don't have to disinfect um, your finger daubers in between the kids because every time that you are cleaning these, you're, I mean, when every time you're reactivating them, you're cleaning them. Okay, Taya, you're gonna push towards Auntie, okay? Can you? Yep. Thank you. Okay, now this is really big for her little tiny face, so I'm really trying to just stay in where I see that purple. And I can improvise and freehand later, but right now I'm gonna use the stencil because it gives me a great guide. So I pull that off, and we've got one side there that looks great. Okay, now, so I've had it here. Now I have this other little one that is super cute. It has some stars on it. I am going to still use the same finger dauber. I'd like, I like to work really fast because again, this dries. So I'm gonna line her cheek here with some stars going down right there, just to kind of close that off. Now, do you see how I have a little bit of over makeup right there? Such an easy fix. I love showing an on the job, how to fix a mistake. As long as you have a facial wipe that says takes off waterproof mascara, you just take your finger, rub, and it came right off. Look at that. These are great. I got these at Costco. I 
absolutely love this brand. Okay, and I put my finger dauber right back on. So I'm on the job right now. I don't want my clients, you know, to have to be waiting in a line for a long time. Head up a little bit, sweepy. Okay, so I wanna be able to clean up my quick mistake. Close your eye. Line this right back up by her eye. Keep it closed the whole time, okay? Thank you. And again, she's five. Repeat yourself. Little kids don't remember to keep their eyes closed. Get a good transfer. Look how nice and dark that looks. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna do one by your nose, so close your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna try really hard to get that in there. See if that worked for me. Yay! Okay, so now remember, I have this cute spider here. Still using my same finger dauber. Okay, I'm gonna have this guy. He's cute. Coming down his web. On her cheek. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so for this one, I'm doing the Too Faced. This seems to be my popular glitter um, lipstick for these looks because it has that perfect shimmer to it. Again, I painted her sister a little while ago and she had her own beauty stick. I removed the lipstick. I put it on the wand. Go like this. You got it. You already know how to do that. Good job. Now I'm gonna use a liner brush. I still have black on my tray. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at her lines here and make sure that everything kind of makes sense, right? So I have the spider here. I wanna make sure this line kind of goes all the way up to the hairline and this can kind of continue down. I can do this. Now what I would like to do, so I'm gonna pull this brush and on this, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna add, see how there's no color in there? I'm gonna do a little bit of shading and pull down and do a little dry brushing. Okay, so dry brush strokes like that. We'll just kind of give it this nice finish on top, turn towards Auntie. Mm -hmm. So again with my liner going up and here. So I'm going to add a line here just so that it kind of, let's see, here. Kind of makes sense, we want those to match up. And then another one here. I was working on her and her little baby hairs kept getting in my way. I made some Halloween glitter ahead of time. This is an aloe based. Okay, turn this way. This is my niece. I've been social distancing. This kind of works as like a gel. Okay, I made this special just for these guys. Special just for this paint. So I am using my finger and it's okay because she's my niece. Let me get that out of here. But what that did is that held her hair back for me while I was while I was working. So I just wanted to show you that, one of those tricks that you can do if you have somebody who's in your line and their hair just keeps going uh, in your paint. You can use this kind of as a gel. All right, guys, here's her mirror moment. I like cool. Did you like it? I put a little glitter on your chin on accident. Hold on. <laughs> what do you think? It looks good. Let everybody see your face. Turn to the side, there we go. Kind of a candy corn witch, super cute, fast for Halloween. Okay, so now because we use Pro Air, if Taya wanted to go swimming today, she could because this would stay on.